Welcome back to the story of liberty. St. Ambrose was one of the early church fathers, along with Augustine and Jerome. He was educated in law in Rome and there stationed in the city of Milan. A dispute arose when the bishop of the city had died and a division arose among the people over a choice of a successor. Certain other people wanted a bishop who held the heresy of Arius, this destructive and heretical doctrine taught, while others wanted a bishop that held to the doctrine formulated by the Council of Nicaea. Ambrose was greatly loved by the people, for he was truly a Christian man. He helped the poor and reached out to those in need. His eloquent and pleading words impressed the hearts of the people, and he told them to act in a Christian way, conduct themselves in an orderly fashion. There's a story of his birth that when he was a baby, he was in his crib, and a swarm of bees settled on his face while he lay in that cradle. They left behind a drop of honey, and his father considered this a sign of his future eloquence. For this reason, bees and beehives often appear in the saints' symbology. Although gentle by nature, Ambrose had a character which remained firm in place in the face of the fiercest opposition. One event is always remembered in history. It concerned an emperor, Theodosius, who, though was a professing Christian and a member of a church, he had massacred 7,000 people in the city of Thessalonia. It was punishment for a rebellion in which a few Roman officers had been killed. Ambrose wrote a letter to the emperor. He received no reply. Soon afterwards, the emperor came to worship in Milan, and he intended to present himself at the Lord's table. But Ambrose was unwilling to receive him at the Lord's table, and he met him at the entrance to the church building and said to him right in his face, he said, How will you lift up in prayer the hands still dripping with the blood of the murder? How will you with such hands receive and bring to your mouth the body and blood of the Lord? Get out of here, leave this place, and do not dare to add another crime to the one you have already committed. In the outcome of this, the Roman emperor made a public confession of his sin and sought forgiveness. He repented. Eight months later, he was received at the Lord's table. And the emperor, in a token of his submission, issued a law that the death sentence against a man should never be carried into effect until at least 30 days after it was pronounced. Ambrose, the gentleman, the man of God, the man with great eloquence, goes down in history is one of the three great early church fathers who held to the true Christian faith.